Okay, I probably went over it last time, but we had a very good year. We've got all the defenses now, you can see, that we can possibly have. We have uh, 63 horses. And then our cattles, they're happy. Happy piggies. There's our shrine to Barntar. We need to fix that. We want Vigor, not Plow Song. Well, we need to check and see if we want Vigor. Apparently we have just enough wildlands. The pigs are happy. Where's the sheep at? The sheep are happy. Ah, seems pretty great. Uh, we need to adjust our patrols, too. Let's see what the forecast has for us. Yeah, he's... Well, he's up to excellent. I thought he was very good. Maybe I'm thinking of Kikoski's Let's Play. I was thinking our law... What, someone's law speaker sucks. I can't remember if it was mine or his. <laughs> he's up to renowned leadership. He's getting really good at everything. Uh, yeah... Are you... She might be able to do... She needs to work on her magic before she can do here in all the feats of tribe. You're still just excellent. Okay. <laughs> Our god talkers warn the coming harvest will be very poor, so we need to make adjustments for that. Let's throw some points in it. They're the bellowing of the bull and said that the future of our clan's war magic depended on learning one of Urox's blessings. Well, that's easy. So we'll put a point of mysteries. I want to try a hero quest this year, so let's do that. And let us continue. Caravan's back from the Lysangs. We couldn't get a permanent trade agreement. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's move our farm stuff around. <laughs> let's see. 190 oxen. We have lots and lots of oxen. That's good. That's good. What do you say? We'd have more farmland, but we don't need it. Uh, animals need to graze on 29 hides of land, which is good. Oh no! Tamertain's getting old! We really need another Lanker My follower. Oh, that sucks. He's got maybe three or four years left in him. Drop the wheat down. Increase the rye. Okay. And then we'll hope that we get raided a little bit and uh, that Marangor will be happy with our sacrifices. Okay. Let's not forget, we still have a feud with the eagles. Raid the eagles! We'll surprise them while they're so ingrained. That sounds like a terrible idea. Well, we could cattle raid them. Cattle raids! Now, he should say it. No? He's afraid of the undead. I, even she seems to want me. Usually your farmers are like, don't raid. We don't. Well, that will. Uh, you'll lose harvest if you raid during the sea season, which is generally a bad idea. Let's see. Uh, I'm feuding with the white horse, but I don't really care. Let's send an emissary to the assaultings. What alliances do we have? Yeah, it'd be nice to have an alliance with them. Peace overtures to the clans we're feuding with and seal the deal with a marriage. That's to that. Because the assaultings are probably going to end up being in our tribe, along with the Lysings and the Arnorings. Maybe the Wolves. We'll have to see. So that's an emissary to the Isolting. Best friends of the Arnoldori. Hmm. Who max? Oath Blessing. best with the Arnorings. Okay. Well, I want to work on the Assaultings. Uh, too many horses, but we have lots of goods. We can easily give, like, 40 goods. Ah! Alliance! Your emissary from Farina approaches the Assaulting, seeking to negotiate an alliance. First, she presents them the gifts we sent, and they give us lavish praise. They toast her many times in the feasting hall. Once the gift-giving is over, how should she approach? Their chief value is generosity over all virtues. It would be generous of you to help us in a time of need. Their chief agreed that our two clans should be allies. Generosity is the prerogative of chiefs and kings, and I am glad to extend you our bounty and protection. Well, that's awesome. I like that. Let's see, can we have any more trade agreements? 
Yes. Usually if she says we ought to establish a permanent trade route, you can. We only have three going right now. Um, let's send some people to the Isoltings. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Establish route. Sara Goodseller. What has she got? Oh, we can afford this easily. Sora the Good Seller. She shows up a lot throughout the game. She's a priestess of the talking god, just like Farina. She comes to offer you what she says is a great treasure. A whirlwind. Trapped in a clay jar. Sora says that when the jar is open, the wind will roar out and sweep through our foes. My trader's gone. What do you think? Such an item would be very useful on the battlefield, but only once. She does us a favor by even offering her. Even if we can't afford us, we must honor her. Hope she comes back with something more useful. <laughs> Although it would be splendid to own such an item, you can't really trust a traitor. Send me to Dicker with her. I might sweet... She might sweet talk me into giving away half the clan. Oh my. Uh, 40 cows worth of goods. She persuaded us to pay more than we had attended, but we had the jar to use in battle against our foes. Well, that's not too bad at all. Let's see, we need to learn some quest. Oh yeah, we gotta sacrifice to rocks, don't we? Damn. Know most of his blessings. Prick. The assault things agreed to trade with us. Oh no, we've been invaded by the eagles, and we spotted them. Uh, let's use the gray net. Well, let's see. Gray. Killing storm. That sounds horrifying. Actually, it's good that they're doing that. Well, we're going to kill some anyway. Let's see if we can take captives and maneuver. We didn't catch anybody, but we killed some people to feed the crops, and we captured a horse. And the net didn't break, which I assume the net will ultimately break. Okay. What hero quest do we know? We know Chalano Roy heals the scars. That's a good one. We could use that to fix people's magic. Ugh, oh, we don't know nearly enough. We know our tribal quest, or Lanthanaroka. <coughs> this is actually a bit difficult. Um... Let's see... Do we have any up-and-coming Orlantes? No, we need to send people off to die in the wintertime. People are getting old. And we need Norlanthe on the ring. I mean, we can put one of the, uh, Vingans on the ring. I mean, she's not terrible. How old are you? I'll just, uh... What else can this quest of Chalana Arroy do? Make the quester wiser, mend our wounds faster in the future. Hmm. Let me look at my magic abilities. Oh, that's right. She's the best magic person I had. God, how depressing. <laughs> I think only women can do the quest for Chalana Arroy, though. Um, she seems fairly good. Let's work on her magic. Let's, let's give it a shot and see what happens. It's the worst thing that happens. I have to reorganize the clan ring. Uh, we'll do Chilana Roy heals the scars. Oh, she's only 40. That's not bad, actually. I end up putting her back on the ring. Perform! People have gathered their magic to help propel Angara into the realm of the gods. Angara is, is not a worshipper of Chalana Roy, but the people hope she would succeed anyway. The myth begins during the war between Orlanth and the followers of the evil emperor called Yelm. It tells how Chalana Roy conducted four great healings. What benefit does she seek from the quest? Make the quester wiser. Angara arrives in a strange place, a shattered palace full of wounded foreigners. Chalana who calms, they cry. At last you are here! The evil storm barbarians have not only slain glorious Yelm, they wounded many of us. They killed others with this new weapon of theirs. We wounded and killed some of them too, but we need help if we are to survive. <laughs> so we shall heal them, and then we shall go heal the people of the storm tribe, because we are neutral. 
She successfully healed the foreign people and sealed their wounds and gave them hope. One of the foreigners blocks her way when she prepares to leave the palace. I will not allow you to go and heal our enemies. They slew our king and must be destroyed. You must be on our side or no side at all. Turn back or I will kill you. Heal his blindness so he joins the storm people. The foreigner is cured of his foreignness <laughs> and became Angara's protector as they traveled to the camp of the storm people. His said his name was Elmal. See, we made the sun god. Angaran heals many storm people, but then Orlanth, reeking of blood and shaking with the madness of battle, makes to attack her. You claim to be one of us, but once you wore the garb of the enemy, even worse, you have healed the enemy so he can get back up and fight us again. You should not heal us if, if you also heal the foe. You should die so we can finish killing them. We must heal his wounded judgment. Angara healed the part of Orlanth that he didn't even know was hurt. The god's judgment had been wounded. The dead blood of the others had mixed with his good blood and made him unclean. Chalana Arroy made him clean again, and then he knew he would need... His new world needed her. He thanked her by making her one of his attendants. After a long time of peace, the unholy trio appear in the world. They cause trouble at Orland's court, disturbing the people and demanding special privileges. Orland's brother Colat argues with them, and the terrible goddess Malia uses her gift, the Scar of Disease, to make Colat unwell. This is why we don't pray to Malia. Uh, learn the secret of fighting without hurting anyone. Angara learned the secret, and it allowed her to defeat Malia without hurting her, and to heal Colat completely. Oh, the Storm Bull. The unholy trio creates the devil and embroils the world in war. Stormbull decides to kill all of them, starting with his brother Ragnalar, who he says is the worst of the betrayers. The two of them fight at the Shrieking Falls. Urox wounds Ragnalar and is ready to deliver the killing blow. Learn the secret of winning without making the other person lose, because to kill Ragnalar will make bring kin strife and uh, worsen the darkness to come. So, she cannot penetrate this mystery. Crap. Um, I can't heal Chaos if you destroy it. Chaos cannot be healed, it can only destroy it. Boy, he's stubborn. I love all things, even Chaos. That doesn't sound good. Throw herself between the two combatants. The Storm will not relent. Uh, let him kill Ragnalar, I guess. That sucks. That's not how the legend goes. This might go badly now. As the battle against Chaos continues, many are slain. Chalana Roy tries to heal as many of them as she can, which brings her into conflict with Humak, the grim guardian of the thing called Death. That's Death. They argue many times. Then King Hort is seized and pierced by a hun in a hundred places by Thed, a third member of the Unholy Trio. Chalana Roy is about to put him back together, but Humak stands in her way. Although he was great, and Orland's people need him, anyone may be killed at any time. The line between life and death is one even you should not be allowed to cross. I forbid this. We shall heal the scar of being an obstinate prick. Damn, she failed to do so. She returned to the realm of mortals to find the clan's law speakers were confused and babbling. Hjort had been slain before he could make the laws that bind us all. That's not good. That's terrible. Let's see. Trader and explorer named Minarth comes to your clan hall to report a strange incident he witnessed while traveling to the west. He saw strangely attired women planting magical staves into the earth. It was obviously a magical ritual. He thinks it was a malign ceremony, one that spells danger for all the dragon pass. Well, what do you think? Arnalda might help us. Nirmal might fool our enemies. What do you think? We should do the thing, you know, where we call upon the... You're an idiot. They fit no description of people we know. Let's trade with this fellow. The ritual curses the land. The effects may carry long distances. Protection or information. Let's learn more about the priestesses. The entrails of the sheep were hard to read. Later, some of our good land turned to swamp almost overnight. Well, that sucks. Maybe we should go B. 
beat the piss out of them. It's our land allotment. Oh, so some of our stuff turned back into wildlands. That's not so bad. Okay, we're fine. Let's do another trade agreement. Actually, let's go see if we can talk to the dwarves again. find anything. Squad Oaks have a new chief. Ah, this rotten little turd. Pinterest, the willful child of well-liked Carls, has a history of making trouble, but now he's done the unthinkable. He has desecrated your Orlanthi temple, throwing poop all over the holy shrines. When asked why he would do such a thing, he only shrugs. His parents are beside himself. This has made the people very unhappy. Only the purification will cheer them up. Deliberate desecration of a temple is a crime. He's always been a handful, but he's never done anything as bad as this. He's not possessed, he's just a prick. Yeah, let his kinfolk deal with it. His uncle told him terrifying tales of chaos and how bad behavior could bring chaos upon a clan. He seemed cowed by these tales of terror. Mm. Ah, this would be that gift in disguise. The outlaw woman who kidnapped Gustan in Borngold five seasons ago have come to talk. Each has a baby with them and claim as the child of one of the men. The men of the Deathlone clan are usually unusually fertile, they laugh. When we do this, we are not usually left in this way. Then they became serious. We could raise the babes as outlaws, but they will be exposed to bad weather and the hazards of our way of living. Since they are half Deathlone, we thought we would give you the chance to take them instead. We must adopt the children who are faultless, and then see that those two idiots are outlawed. There's no escaping a bad act. And we need the young ones to grow up. Yeah, let's adopt the children. Then some of the women demand that Gustum and Dord and Gold explain themselves and say why they should not be accused of the crime of adultery. Hmm. Ah, just let it go. No, it's not their... <laughs> It is their duty not to forget and to keep bothering us. Oh, oh well. <sighs> Damn. And we gotta get rid of them. We outlawed both the adulterers. The women were satisfied and said that good laws must sometimes be enforced without mercy. That's a shame. Hey, we found the dwarves! While on an exploration and trade mission of Artula, your people were approached by a trio of dwarves who wished to be trade with the Orlanthi clans. Referring to their leader, Isidillion says we had not reached schedule point where unauthorized may trade with outsider humans. But we individuals with own souls, not just parts of a machine, we wish to prove such and enter trade immediately. Your explorers come back and ask what to do. Trade treasures with them. You! Take a couple people with you, whatever. Um, give them the Whirlwind Jar. They gave us a treasure they called the Magnet of Mostali. They said it would even things out so everything would be predictable and good. And this is what we wanted from them. Ah, oh, that's good. Dampens the effect of random chance. Sweet. And if we decide we don't like it, we can always get rid of it. And it's time to raid, because it's dark season. Nobody expects a raid in dark season. Yes, old things, you're right next nearby. Come help us out. Ooh, we eluded them. Let us take captives and charge! Ah, uh, we didn't get any captives. Now, and that's supposed to make it easier, but we took a lot of stuff, and we didn't lose any things. Oh no, someone stole eight cows. Who were those, the Arnerings? They raided us a couple times. Let's go punch them in the face. <laughs> Tired of your crap. And we'll just plunder and charge. Little magic. 
we looted them, we outnumbered them greatly, and they won. But we killed more of their people, so whatever. And then they are in Eldori. Oh well, just cattle raids. <laughs> what? Where's from the... Oh, we have a new Oral Consort. <laughs> They identified themselves as Arnbord and Renatha, and let Orkonsor's son go that we would know they did this to avenge their brother-in-law, Gordongar, who had been killed during a raid. Well, that's how raids work, asshole. We could grants for a legal case, but would be unlikely to prevail if we pressed for outlawry. Well, give us a Borough Guild. Um, where's my bargaining person? Go, demand Ware Guild. The yeah, usual amount. Okay, yeah, the chief agreed. Yeah, that was... Dick move, guys! God, what's wrong with you? Okay, let us... Yeah, we're gonna need you to work on our law magic. Since we lost some of it. Clan lore ritual. Lanker Mai finds the truth. Oh no, we're being raided by the eagles! Ah! Kill as many as possible. Maneuver. Courage. The eagles attacked while we were sacrificing. Oh yeah, they charge right into a trap we laid for him. After cutting down all the foes that opposed him, Korash realizes he had distance to our other warriors. He's alone. Uh, he's got excellent leadership and renowned combat. Fight heroically. Use the clan's berserker blessing? That sounds like a terrible idea. Fight heroically. He yelled our battle cry. So loud, everyone on the battlefield could hear it, and threw himself at the warriors. They made a great show of yelling and waving their spears, but none of them wanted to close. He swung his sword in great arcs that left three eagles bleeding behind him. This was too much for them, who dropped their spears and ran. Oh yes, fertilize the crops. Fertilize them all night. Uh, ransom them. And it's time for a new year! We didn't make nearly enough food, but that's okay, because we'll manage in the next video.